there's a, a self-revelatory aspect of it. Uh, uh, Caroline Lewis was saying you really can't hide behind the gospel or hide behind the pulpit. At some point, uh, the preacher becomes incarnational. You, you, you give flesh to the word you're reading. You have to say to your people, here's what I think it means to me. Here's what I hear in it. Here's what I'm led to do about it. And that becomes really dangerous because they may not hear the same things in it. Um, they may not feel led to do the same things about it. And therefore, they may take issue with you. And uh, a, a lot of us people who migrate into ministry are like people who migrate into other helping professions. Uh, we tend to be a little codependent. And we want everybody to like us and everybody to approve of us. And we want to appear to be prophetic, but we want applause when we prophesy. And that's not usually what happens to prophets. So there's, there's, there's a lot of courage required because you stand up alone. There's nothing to hide behind. Ultimately, you are going to have to say things, if you're faithful, that not everybody is going to agree with. Um, for me... There's not a Monday that I don't get a little nervous when I first open up my emails. <laughs> because it's a very rare Monday that somebody doesn't take issue with something that was said on Sunday. And we preachers uh, sometimes have fragile egos. <laughs>